the sixth graders of Schumacher Elementary School in Bellevue wish to thank Bellevue Hospital for their generous local support of our edition of News 6 and the other friends of this broadcast who provided additional funding. to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Shoemaker School. Our school is in the city of Bellevue, which is located in Huron County. Founded in 1815, Bellevue has a population of almost 9,000 people. These days, staying healthy is as important as ever, but getting regular exercise isn't always easy, and sometimes it's even boring. But reporter Amanda Nixon tells us that there is a way to keep fit and enjoy yourself too. Hi, I'm Amanda Nixon and we're here to find out what happens when you add music to exercise. Good. Julie Radloff is the owner of Bellevue Jazzercise. We asked her what Jazzercise is all about. Jazzercise is the number one dance fitness program in America. It's kind of a fun thing to do and get to be with your friends. Jazzercise is aerobic. It's dance and exercise combined. Up, down, up, down, great. Now we're going to lift. We're going to lift up and down. Up, down, up, down, great. One, do it again. Julie spent time with our class teaching us some of her best moves. Some of the basic moves for jazzercise would be grapevine, which is just a side-to-side -side movement. Uh, we do skipping. We do jogging. And you're going to release it? Julie says that many people can benefit from doing jazzercise. All age groups can safely do jazzercise. Some of the main benefits would be how good you feel and how much energy you have. It also will keep your body in shape, will keep your heart strong and your muscles strong. And it's a lot of fun. This is Amanda Nixon reporting for News 6. This area of Ohio is well known for its rich farmland, but there are other natural resources here that are also important. Reporter Ashley Mallow takes us to a place where valuable material is only a stone's throw away. Hi, I'm Ashley Mallow, and we're at a very important hole in the ground. The Sandusky Crush Stone Quarry is a lot more than a hole in the ground. It is the largest producing stone quarry in Ohio. We are a crushed stone operation and we process, uh, produce uh, asphalt and concrete stone. The Rogers Group was founded in 1908 and we're located in eight different states. Our Sandusky operation here uh, produces approximately six million tons of stone per year. Finding the right stone takes a combination of science, technology, and hard work. The way we locate the stone is by coring the, the quarry itself, and then we bring in geologists to verify the depth of the quarry. What we have to do first is strip the land, is strip the topsoil from the top of the quarry, and that gets us down to the flat part of the stone itself. And then we blast to break up the material in various sizes. Over 30 different products are made from the stone in this quarry. We have 27 different sizes of, of material that we produce here at the quarry. 
The largest is armor stone down to concrete material, and we probably have about 30 years of reserves remaining. The land uh, that you see here is always in reclamation. Whether we have a golf course or whether we have a condominium development, it will never be just a hole in the ground. This is Ashley Milo reporting for News 6. Today's Kids View question is, what is your favorite sport and why? Basketball, because I like to shoot hoops. Football, because I like to hit hard. Hockey, because I love all the action. Baseball, because of the Cincinnati Reds. Softball, because catching is an exciting position. Basketball, because I like to dunk the ball. years ago, railroads were the best way to get around Ohio, but over time, cars and airplanes became more popular ways to travel. Even so, reporter Jason Myers has discovered that the spirit of the old railroads still lives on. Hi, I'm Jason Myers and we're on track at a railroad museum. For over 20 years, our museum has been operated by the Mad River and NKP Railroad Society. The Mad River and NKP Railroad Society is a nonprofit volunteer organization dedicated to preserving and restoring retired railroad equipment. The Mad River and NKP Railroad Museum derives its name from the Mad River and Lake Erie Railroad, which was the first chartered railroad in the state of Ohio and also the NKP, which stands for Nickel Plate Road, was a major hub in Bellevue. Mr. Leonard was our guide at the museum and he says that this is a unique collection of railroad artifacts. We have several one-of-a-kind items at the Mad River Railroad Museum, including the uh, very first dome car, passenger car, ever built in the United States. We also have a uh, unique Atlas car pusher, which was used to push coal cars around with. Many of the items that you see here have been donated by the people who actually have used them or by railroads who have found our cause enjoyable and educational. This is one museum where people can get lots of hands-on experience. The Mad River and NKP Railroad Museum is a hands-on facility. We encourage people climb aboard and enjoy the day. This is Jason Myers reporting for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. Goodbye. The sixth graders of Schumacher Elementary School in Bellevue wish to thank Bellevue Hospital for their generous local support of our edition of News 6 and the other friends of this broadcast who provided additional funding.